Hi, welcome back to the C. What do we have on the show today? We have Mr. Hold modifies Pi Storm using my Desert Storm Amiga. I'm going to turn this on first to make sure it even works because I haven't turned it on since the last time you saw it. It has a real hard drive in it. I forgot about that. Real hard drive and not a DOS device in DH0. But it's an Amiga. Let her warm her feet up and then reboot. If you see any snow on the screen, that's because my Amiga is uh, running on solar and that's the Hertz is gigas of the solar dude. As long as uh, whatever update you did didn't... Uh, it's validating. Oh. Well, you can hear that bitch whine. Yeah, I know. That's, that's incredible actually. I'm like... It worked before you broke it. So I'm going to grab another 1200 <laughs> that has a 5-storm already in it. And leave the Desert Storm alone for now. But that is actual sun fade of a cable was laying on it. And it just looks like something that we would have used against the Iraqis or something. I don't know. It works out. Yep. Well, this one's, this is the one I got from somebody, I forget where I got it from. And this one's mine with the, with the mark somebody and, I don't know. Alright, nice. Take two. Take two. So there we go, we just retrobrighted it real quick. I swapped Amigas to the other one. Let's see if this one works. Low high. This one is um, um It's got some VGA thing in there that makes the, the science happen. Scan plus AGA. Is that it? Scan yeah, it's got a scan plus AGA. This is Q's Pi Storm with a Pi Storm 32 with a Pi 4. My Amiga, that may or may not work, is a Pi Storm 32 with a Pi 3B plus. Now I don't have my HDMI hooked up or none of that crap. I'm just using the Roll Amiga modes just for RAM. It has a gig of RAM or 896 megs. 60 to 43.2.1. I haven't gone 322 or none of that stuff. So that's that. We're gonna flip her over. I actually put screws in mine. Use the secret removal tool key to go like that. Pull my Pi Storm out. This one's from Amiga Kit. I have a temperature sensor on it. So we'll put mine here. We'll take his that doesn't have an Amiga Kit and a red memory card. It says Pi Storm 32 Lite. I know the guy he got this from. It was really cool of him to give him that. So due to the air shocks on the Pi 4, I'm going to have to elevate my Pi or just let it have pressure on my motherboard, which I don't want to do. I have a Pi 3, which has lower USB ports and a standard HDMI. The Pi 4 has the micro HDMI. It, they just flipped them. Yeah. They flipped them. It's the same exact card, but Pi 3s are lower. They clip in lower. Magic and science. Amiga 1000 Allegra that was kindly donated to me today as a ramp just to hold that up a little bit and there's Kevin's now his resolution is different than mine you're gonna notice the hold and modify stuff of his stuff I'm not going to change the resolution because his monitor is different than mine 1.8 gigs of RAM why do I have a Dr. Chris folder oh look at that it's private <laughs> it's all my shit no, it's not. Hey, SysInfo's in there anyway, so don't matter. <laughs> the Dr. Chris Fuller, SysInfo. Sorry the gigahertz is off. This is the latest EMU 68. Let's see what the chip speed is. Is it over 1.0? No, it's still fracked. But 
1.54 million drive stone, uh, 1613 MIPS, 1678 megaflops. That's kick ass. If it's not 7.16 megahertz, it's uh, better. Memory, 846 megs, 32 bit, 112 meg CPU, another 846, and 2 megs of chip. Good, 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 good. Uh, you don't have any demos on here, do you? I do not. B U S T S T. While we're waiting on that, today's interrupter is brought to us by Mr. Reynolds, which I commissioned to do a uh, custom case for my Amiga 4000. Turned out to be a little bit more expensive than I planned. I owe him another 300 euros. That's like a shit ton of money in American dollars. Because shipping is 220 bucks from the town of my stomach, Hungary. So that's where we're at. Uh, so that's 580 total euro monies I've spent on a case. Are you stupid or something? I'm stupid. Okay, so I'm gonna load Turkin to AGA off of ADF to test the chip speed of the Pi Storm using my Davoom TV, which I'll unplug its power so it doesn't squeal the whole time. What I'm looking for is artifacting on AGA screens. You'll see silver crap. Oh shit. You'll see silver. Well, I just didn't mean to use that up. So far, so good. No aid, no slowdown. The chip ram is just a number. Oh no! No! Turn. There we go. So far, no issues. Hey. That's good to me. This game was horrible before, and now there's no slowdown. So they must have fixed the chip ram issue, and it's just a just a number. That's a pretty cool game. You ever played Turkin? Never played that game. Oh my god, Turkin's <laughs> a blast. So Q's never played Turkin. Berate him in the comments. Yeah. So this pretty works sick. great now. Yeah, sweet. Nice and hot. Ooh, jeez. Yeah, wow. You have Pi Four. I have Pi Three. So I, I taped my Amiga Kits sensor onto my CPLD, and that was my fancy temperature monitoring heat sink right there. That's, that's right. That's mine. And mine is a low rider, so it actually fits the, the dude. This is Kevin's 1084S2, D2, SD2, and it don't work. The button don't stay in. This thing works, but... Uh, he said magic smoke came out of it, and I've never repaired a monitor. I have great luck with power supplies, so we figured, why not? I don't know how to take it apart. I did buy capacitors for it the other day at Micro Center, which you may have seen, but I didn't film it, so you probably didn't. And we're going to take this thing apart. It's been unplugged for a long time, so I don't have to worry about any electrocution. And if I do, nice knowing you. Hey, we figured out how to get the first part off. Stereo speakers. Pain in the ass. And it says it's made of resin. A warning. This product, 24 kilovolt. Holy crap. Do you have labels inside that say, danger, this will kill you. And you don't know what you're doing? Don't do it. 1992 this was made, November. So this thing right here is called a flyback transformer. And this will light your ass on fire. Inside are 18,263,000 reefer caps, resistors, and big ass things. But I'm looking for the high volt or the power rail and anything that looks smoked. So I'm just going to flip it around to the bottom here and we're going to check cold solder joints on the flyback. And we're also going to look for power rail busted cold solder joints. A cold solder joint looks like a solder joint that the peg moves around in, it's been broken, hence. It needs to be reflowed. This is the button. That doesn't work. It goes in, but it doesn't stay. Hopefully these will fit. I don't know if these are gonna fit. They are way different. Normally put a wire on this, ground yeah. it out, stick it in there. This isn't even a Sony tube, it's Orion. Smoke, there's nothing like in it that says, hi, I blew up. Nothing that says, hi, I smoked. All right, so this thing puts out 24,000 volts. My Ionic 5 runs on 800. So this means instant death. Well, that dust is so old, it's just not moving. It doesn't move. It's just perma dust. 
permadust. There's nothing to blow off. It's just stuck to the board. Let's try a little bit of Hooper Sooch. Hooper Sooch. Don't die. Brown. Because I was, I remember it's turning on and it goes, it made, I heard a tick sound and then <laughs> smelled it and then a little whiff. So I wonder. No. That's okay. nothing in there. That's, that, the, that's, that's the tube. Yeah. This is all tube. The only wire is this. It's the only wire to it. I mean, if I put it back together, we can turn it on. But I can't. Once it's on, right? You don't have your. I, I can't. Well, I can't turn it on with the off. I can check these wires. That's the main feed, but they're wire wraps. Four of them. It's weird the fuse is intact though, so it wasn't related to that. And these monitors just scare the shit out of me. <laughs> I mean, I've seen so many people work on them, and they, they, once they know how to de decharge them, it's well, simple. Well, that's you know? fine, but if yeah. I'm going to energize it, everything is hot again. All the caps <coughs> of death. That's the will kill you if discharged improperly. The board itself, and there is nothing burnt anywhere. The board is clean all the way down. There's not a still still sign of brown or anything. No cold solder joints on the flyback. This is AC. So this line is AC and this is DC. Hmm. High voltage. Warning. Implosion protection must be replaced with tube of same number for continued safety. Monitors I do not do. Would a power switch smoke? Would it have the ability to smoke? It would have smoke because the dust is on it. Pulling rare old dust off of it. It would have burnt it. So these are your powers right here, and they're not burnt at all. This is totally intact. See, normally like these things will get holes in them yeah. in the middle, but they're all solid. <laughs> that ground board is fine. So one thing left to do. Well, the visual inspection revealed nothing. So I put it back together scare the living shit out of myself, plug it in, turn it on, we'll hook it up to the solar so it's inverter protected that I don't blow up my house. That's the game plan. It went together a lot easier than it came apart. Sure shit did. Alright, we're going to go for power with no power. So we have power to the unit. This will either work or explode. It's keyed by this, so I'm going to turn it on real quick and scare the shit out of myself. Okay, power to the switch worked, but I'm going to tape this down. You said you have to hold it in? Yeah, you're going to hold it in. With the highest quality crappy tape I can find. I just need it for a second. I want something that's going to pop out. Okay. All right. That will protect us. Here we go. We're either going to die or it's just going to... Made some noises. Speakers made a noise. There's no light on the front. Did your light work? Yeah. The switch is a toggle state. You have to push on off while it push on the wheel. What? What? Well, it made more noise than it did. <laughs> the flyback is uh, energized now. You mean... Click it again. Yeah, here, here, okay. Okay. Woo! I felt some serious degaussing on the tube. Um, I'm gonna hook something up to it to see if it works. What amigo wants to die? So if this still works, we'll see it on that screen in just a second. That camera is hot as hell. Low, high. And 2.0 ROMs, it works. I'm leaving it running. I'm going to pull the monitor out. We're going to put this monitor cable in. The Amiga's on. I didn't plug it in. It is plugged in. Okay. 
Do we see an image? I see no power light, so I have no idea if that's working or not. The brightness up. So there's no f no power light. No and power light. The CRT isn't firing up. The flyback isn't firing up, so it must have been the flyback that died. It's something. It's getting something here. I'm gonna push one of these buttons in. I don't hear the boy. Yeah, that's what I mean. I'm not hearing. But that. And you'd this hear, has got static on it like mad. Yeah, you'd hear like the dust crackling when it fires up. So it probably needs to fly back in the switch. I think it's still running. So, one dead 1084S D2 parts for someone who can fix mother uh, um, monitors. Maybe Adrian Black can twist the caps off of this one and change out a flyback. But shipping to Oregon where he is for something this heavy would be not worth it. Sometimes you just gotta slap an old girl and let her go. At least here. I don't do monitors. There's never been a monitor repaired on this channel. But I figured I'd just take a look and see what it is. On a plus note, the Ziff 500 Plus board functioned, even though it kind of suffered a great impact. All right, well, we couldn't get the 1084 alive, but we made good efforts. It was a lot of fun. Neat seeing the inside of it, by the way. And thank you, Chris, for giving it a whack. And scary. not dying, by the way. That yes. would have sucked. Scary. Scary. <laughs> we didn't try the technical tap. Did you try the technical tap? I did, actually. Oh, yeah. okay. Well, the technical tap, for all of you who don't know, is when you whack the crap out of it, and then it just works. But, yeah, I didn't see any cold solder joints or, I mean, yeah, I don't know. Probably is a flyback, but they scare the crap out of me. 24,000 volts. It's a little bit more than I like to touch, you know. Yeah, well, it was cool trying. We made the effort. Now we're going to get something to eat. Food. Thank you guys for coming along on this journey. I hope you enjoyed the whole series of our Commodore Weekend week and trips and repairs and all sorts of stuff. I'm going to try and collaborate, con make this into one video and we'll see how it turns out. Hope you like it. Thanks for watching. And I hope you learned something. What Mr. Johnson's favorite flower is? Two lips. What do you know from funny, you bastard?